from Colombia. So she's joining us today uh, from Colombia all the way. So let me just add her to the stream. Hello, Adriana. I think you are muted. Let me just. Hi, Rael. <laughs> Welcome to Angular NL. How are you today? Fine, thanks. And you? How are you? Oh, very excited to, to have you here. I'm very excited to that you're going to give, give an awesome presentation to our wonderful audience. Thanks. So let me, uh, without any further ado, everybody, Adriana Maga. Hi, Angular Netherlands. I'm pretty happy to be here today sharing the virtual stage with amazing Angular developers. All right, so let's get started. I guess many of you know these kinds of people. The one that manages a great project, they have everything written down in their heads. And many people are in the church, and if it wasn't enough, they are great heads of household. That is, being aware of their order of their house, finances, and even children's homework. Amazing, right? They are those types of people who become indispensable for the proper functioning on their environment. But when we review or snoop around in that person's personal life, they are um, a little bit disastrous. They don't spend time on themselves. They don't pay attention to details of their personal life. In other words, we are all the time connected to the external world, but we don't have deep connection with or, or our inner life. Believe it or not, the same problem happens to our application and their state management. Yes, in Angular. With Flux architecture, we can use great libraries to manage the global state and it's really amazing. But if we take a look inside, we have async pipes, but to be honest, our templates are not synchronous. The component don't have their own state management. And of course, it's not connected to the global state. If you think that the way we work in Angular and there's nothing we can do, we can do to fix it, don't worry. There is an easy way to fix it once and for all. In the same way, you can have amazing results in your life by including a small new habit. You can also have a completely zen application by using Angular effects, a reactive station for Angular. But before we can continue, I introduce myself. My name is Adriana Maguea. I'm from the developer, CSS lover, organizer of the local meetup Angular Medellin and NGConfco, the largest and most important conference in the Spanish speaking world. And here I take, and, and I take advantage. I tell you a little bit. One second. OK. It will be today dedicated entirely to Angular and web development for workshops and for of the best Angular speakers in the world. We expect attendance of more than 1,000 developers. You are cordially invited. And now, yes, let's continue with this. This library, this library is a set of reactive primitive that fills in the missing blanks in the Angular API. In the same way that through meditation, you can observe your inner state. Angular effects makes it both possible and easy to observe and react to the state of your components. What's using one second, okay. What you see now in, is the Angular life cycle, which includes not only the application and its state, but the component and the template. Now I'm gonna give you just three simple tips to improve your apps and be more sim. One, the present is all there is. With Angular effects, component templates are always synchronous. You don't have, you don't have to use async pipes anymore. Passing from this to this, 
as can you so as can you see our templates look really simple and stay synchronous or having for a hem uh, for example template template with nested async bindings depend on input values this is one in which the second offset bubbles is not fetched until the first one is resolved there are some ways to fix it like combining these offset bubbles into a single data source but this can be difficult to manage we'd like it to subscribe to individual data string separately and without blocking the template well with angular effects we can subscribe to a stream in parallel and render them synchronously two forget about all the structures created your own destiny you might not need life cycle hugs since we can observe the state of component and write effects around them the following life cycle hooks are not needed anymore on init on change after content init after view init and on destroy regarding the lighter we won't need to clean up variables for garbage collection after the component is destroyed to prevent memory lags because every effect is a sync for observables. Three, what is essential is invisible for, uh, to the AI. With Angular effects, we can create renderless components. Renderless components are behavior without template. But now as mixings, but they aren't easy to use in Angular. Angular effects makes it possible by extracting all the stateful behavior from a component into an injectable service. But how does magic happen? It's really easy. Let's see the synchronous template. First, you need to install ngfx. In your component, import the effect effects connect and the state from ngfx create your effect called counter in this case we use a, a time to show and synchronous value and voila we have a synchronous template is that all of course not this is only the tip of the iceberg there are a lot of things you can do now to mention some of them. You can observe when an any property on the component change, this lets you write fully reactive application. You can pipe input, inputs and outputs. You can extract stateful behaviors into side. You can extend it with adapters and change the station, use words, and you can fine tune I. IV shown you the door. Now it's your decision, work it through it. Thank you so much. Please follow, please follow me in Twitter. Thank you very Thank much you. for your presentation, Adriana. Let me tell you that those were one of the most Thank you, Rael. And uh, well, if there are any questions for you, you, you can send them to Adriana in, in uh, Twitter and uh, she yes. will, will reply them there. Don't, don't forget to follow her. And also, if you're interested in ng-conf Colombia, uh, you, well, the details are in your profile, I assume, in your Twitter profile. So thank you once again, Adriana, for that wonderful Thank you.